So my beautiful people, I am back with another Elden Ring video and today guys I bring you two things you definitely should be doing before farming any kind of runes just to make that efficiency so much better for yourself. How's it going guys? My name is DPJ and if you do enjoy the video leaving a like really helps out and if you like what you see and want to see more be sure to subscribe. Okay so rune farming in this game is something we have all been doing no doubt or it's something we're all looking to do now to make this way more efficient on yourself and to earn way more runes there are two things you should definitely do before even farming runes because you'll be losing out in terms of how many runes you can be earning and with my help today you'll see yourself earning 50 percent extra runes people it is as easy as that Okay, so to do this, we need to get two items. The first item though, we want to be crafting ourselves to make it a lot easier and less expensive. Because one of the items we need is called the Gold Foul Foot, which gives you 30% or I believe 30% extra runes for three minutes. Now, if you can craft these things, you can have unlimited amounts of said boost. So firstly, to even craft this, you will need the Missionary's Cookbook 2. And you get this, guys, via going to the Merc Water Coast Cave, which you can see on screen now. Now, when you go into this cave and go to the bottom, there will be a boss fight with a dude called Patches. Now, if you opt not to kill him when he surrenders, guys, he eventually, when you clear his dialogue, becomes a vendor you can purchase things from. So don't kill Patches guys and he becomes that vendor. Now if you do kill him you probably get his bar bearing. I haven't done that yet. If that's the case you will know that I have to take it to the twin maiden husks within the uh, round table. And you can probably buy the cookbook from there too. But once you purchase this cookbook from him guys this unlocks the crafting spec for the gold foul foot. And as you can see it requires three items. And this is just to craft one by the way. So for one gold pickled foul foot, you need the row of fruit, you need three of these. You need the four toed foul foot, which you need one of these. And you need the gold firefly, where you need one of these. Now luckily today guys, I'll bring you three spots where you can get these relatively quite easily. So we'll start off with a four toed foul foot. These you can find a bird location on a beach just left of the 4th Church of America as you can see on the screen now. Here I recommend you taking a bow or a crossbow, have those arrows at hand or if you've got any magic sorcery with that staff where you can take them out at a range, it's just way more efficient doing this. Now it doesn't guarantee they drop these every single time but there's a good chance. So farm as many of these as you can before you get bored. Okay, so next up people, we have the gold fireflies. Now these I found a great location just south of the minor earth tree, which you can see on screen now. Now when you first come here, there will be an enemy you want to take out. So do so, and then just pick them all up out of the water. You should get between eight and 12 every single run. You can reset out the grace and come back. It is as simple as that. And lastly guys, we have the row of fruit. Now these can be found all over the map, but I have found a great location, as you can see on the screen now, just by the War Master's Shack. Here there are tons around here guys, so just run around in circles and you'll get a shitload. Then guys, it's as simple as going into your crafting menu and crafting as many of these as you can. Okay, so the next item you want is the Gold Scarab Talisman. This gives you unlimited extra runes by 20% upon enemies defeated so once you get this talisman guys you simply apply it farm runes you are sorted so this can be found at the bottom of the abandoned cave and you can see the location to that on screen now so follow the path i take to the abandoned cave you will have to jump across to it or you can go along a branch i think it's easier just to jump across to it but once you are in here guys, you have to fight your way through poison 
and that. Just do as I do on screen and you'll get through this real easily. Now at the bottom of this cave guys there are two enemies you need to defeat, the clean rot knight, sickle and spear. Once you take these out guys you are basically rewarded the gold scarab and it is yours for ever. So pull it on. So once you have this on guys and once you have those gold pickled foul feet, apply these before any rune farm you do and you will earn 50% additional runes. Don't forget the foul foot runs out every 3 minutes so apply if you have enough of them every 3 minutes as you're farming runes and you'll see a great increase people. And well it is really as simple as that. Everybody should be doing this before they farm runes just to make things a lot easier and a lot more efficient on themselves. And there we have it guys. People if you enjoyed the video leaving a like really helps out if you like what you see and want to see more Elden Ring. Be sure to subscribe and hopefully guys, I'll see you on that next one.